everyone, my name is Tammy. For those of you visiting my channel for the very first time, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And for those of you coming back, welcome back. <laughs> In today's video, you can see we have some unboxings to do. Yay! <laughs> we actually have five unboxings to show you today. Um, I have two diamond painting pen unboxings for a total of five pens to unbox today. One of these unboxings of pens is a pen I've been waiting on for quite a while that's been setting and waiting for me to unbox, and I am just super excited to unbox that particular pen. In addition to the pen unboxings, we have three washi tape unboxings for a total of 57 rolls of washi tape. Uh, there's some Thanksgiving washi, Christmas, and winter-related washi um, that I thought would be nice to unbox at this time, as well as other, uh, other washi that I've purchased that I think will be interesting for you to see. I'm really excited to see and open these packages. And today, I have a special surprise. Um, I have two special giveaways uh, to announce somewhere in this video, so be sure to watch for them. Actually, one of the giveaways has already been drawn for, and I will be announcing a winner in today's video. Um, whether you knew it or not, I had asked uh, so I had asked you guys to uh, put an angel emoji or the word angel in a prior video, the Heaven and Earth Design Series Part 1 video, and if you did that, you actually were entered in a drawing, whether you knew it or not, and I already drew the names. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm excited to share that with you. But before we get started um, on the unboxings, I wanted to mention a couple of other things. Um, I know a lot of you are very anxious to see the next uh, the next video in the Heaven Earth Design series uh, where I'm converting a Heaven Earth Design to a diamond painting. Um, I've completed actually the part two of the series, um, but I'm holding off on posting that part two until I finish part three, which I'm working on right now. Um, the, the reason is I really wanted part two and part three to go out at the same time. They're two separate videos, two separate concepts. But the first part two is the, is showing you ex actually how to do the traditional heaven earth design conversion to a blank canvas style. Part three is showing you the new method that I created that will allow you to convert a heaven earth design to a diamond painting faster. I wanted both parts of that series to go up at the same time because I think it's important to see them. Um, if, when you have time to watch it, if, if you watch them back to back or very close together, I think you'll get more out of the content. So that's why I put, I'm going to put them up like that. Um, so you can compare and contrast the different methods and you can choose which one you think is going to work best for you. I'm so excited to get your feedback um, from those videos also. In case you're not familiar with my Heaven Earth Design series, I will put a link at the end of this video to the part one of the Heaven Earth Design series. So be sure to check that out if you want to know more about how you can convert a Heaven Earth Design to a diamond painting a lot faster than using the traditional method. Uh, now, I'm going to rotate the camera down so we can get a closer look at these unboxings. Okay guys, before we start unboxing things, I want to say that I hope you had a great week. It's Sunday, November 13th when I'm recording this video. As I've mentioned before, I live in southern Indiana and I woke to the most beautiful snowfall yesterday morning. I just wanted to mention that. Um, I'll put a small video clip or two in here to show you what it looked like. We don't usually get snow quite this early in the year, so it was a really big surprise. Um, it started snowing about 7 a.m. and it snowed for about three hours and we got about five inches of, of snow total. Um, I absolutely love snow. Um, it was such a pretty snowfall. Um, it snowed lots of small flakes for a while. Then on and off there would be big flakes falling, swirling around. Um, I love everything about snow. Um, have any of you guys had a good snow yet this season? I'd be interested to hear your comment. Check it out, guys. <laughs> it's 7 a.m on saturday november 12th and it is snowing and it is snowing pretty good um it's only been snowing for just a few minutes or so there's my ducks down there they're coming in to feed well actually they're going out they saw me <laughs> they always dart out a little bit when, we, when i first come to the windows they're so cool look at that snow I love snow. I can't imagine starting the weekend off any better than this. Check it out. The snow is crazy. We got like four inches now. It's crazy. 
crazy snow. I love it. Beautiful. As you can see in the video clips, we live on the edge of a lake, so it's really neat to see the edge of the lake lined with snow and the snow-covered trees all around the lake. It makes me so happy to get an early snow this year. Um, we had a lot of mallard. We have a lot of mallard ducks on the lake too, and you can see the snow falling on their backs, and they would eventually bristle up and knock it off. Um, I actually have a regular group of mallards that visit the lake. Um, and I like to feed them cracked corn as a treat. So I went out yesterday and, and dug out their feeder trays and put some corn out for them. And I could not help myself. I had my Alexa device playing Bing Crosby's It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas song <laughs> while watching the snowfall. I know it's too early for that, right? Believe it or not, we already have people in our area putting up Christmas decorations. Um, I actually plan on putting up my tree um, in about two or three days and I cannot wait to, to kick off the holiday season. Uh, it's so much fun. How about you guys? Anyone got their decorations up yet? Or are you one of those people that has the rule, no Christmas decorations go up after until after Thanksgiving? Um, I used to live by that rule actually, but the last few years I have really wanted to put my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, it's it's just so much work to put out all those decorations, the holiday decorations. It's nice to put them out a little early so you get to enjoy them for a longer period of time before you have to take them all down again. <laughs> well, anyway, enough chatting. Let's get uh, into some of these package, packages. Um, okay, let's. Um, I'm going to move the packages off so that we have them out of view for the moment. So we're focusing on just one package at a time. Now... Let's start by unboxing the 57 rolls of washi I purchased from Simply Gilded, my new favorite washi supplier located in McKinney, Texas. Uh, Simply Gilded has their own website. I'll put a link in the description box. They sell premium quality washi tape and journaling supplies. And for those of you who are newer to diamond painting or just may not be familiar with how to use washi um, when diamond painting, uh, let me show you that for a second. Uh, this is what washi tape looks like. Um, it's a very thin thin tape with an adhesive on the back that is quite forgiving to work with. I mean, when you place it on things, you can take it back off. So it sticks, but it doesn't stick too bad. So it's it, it, it can be moved around easily. That's why we like to use it crafting and in diamond painting. It's just a really good washi. Um, now, um, I'll put a picture up here of what a diamond painting looks like with washi tape on it for sectioning the diamond painting. Uh, sectioning your diamond painting uh, like this with washi tape helps you break the diamond painting down into manageable blocks. Then you just work on one block at a time. To do that, you just apply the washi tape directly over the clear plastic cover in vertical and horizontal lines, creating blocks or sections. Then you use scissors or a blade to cut along the edge of the washi tape and peel back the plastic cover just in one section at a time. Um, I personally really like using washi tape for sectioning because each time you finish a section, you get a sense of accomplishment. And, and my, I like to set a goal when I'm diamond painting to complete one section each day I diamond paint. Also, I'll put up another picture showing a different way to use washi. As you can see in this picture, washi tape is also used a lot to cover the outside edge all the way around a diamond painting where you have adhesive that extends a bit outside of the drill area. That way it helps keep the excess exposed adhesive around the edge from picking up lint and cat or dog hair or anything else that might get in the, the adhesive. Also, if you haven't seen my video where I performed the Great Washi ch Tape Challenge, um, in that challenge I put several different brands of washi tape to the test to see how well each brand adhered against the other brands. The Simply Gilded brand that, that we are unboxing today appeared to be at least as twice as strong as three out of four of the other brands I tested because three of the uh, other brands failed the challenge at four and a half grams of force and Simply Gilded held up to 9.75 grams of force. So from that experiment, we learned that the Simply Gilded brand Washi appears to be very strong uh, when compared to some other brands. Um, I'll put a link to that video where I did the great Washi ch tape challenge in the video description for you to reference if you would like to see it. Now, um, here are two rows, uh, rolls of washi tape. Okay, uh, this is a Simply Gilded washi tape. This is a typical Amazon brand. Also, if you don't know this, a typical roll of, of cheap washi tape off Amazon, um, like this one is, is about three meters or 10 feet long. If you buy it in the cheap 
bundle packs like I, I bought in the past off Amazon. And the Simply Gilded washi tape, like this roll is 10 meters long or 33 feet or so. So you can see the size difference. Uh, so th this roll is about three times more on a roll than the typical Amazon washi tape roll. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of cost and value of washi tape, that the, the Simply Gilded ones are much larger and you get a lot more per a roll. So it might be, you know, a good value for you. Okay. Um, I have three Simply Gilded purchases to open. I have these three packages. Okay. So we're going to unbox this one first. Uh, this one has 44 rolls in it. Um, so let's start here. Um, so I'm going to start unboxing this one. Cut through this beautiful packaging. I love their packaging. The gold foil and the blue foils and things. They do a very nice job at presenting their product to their customers. I didn't quite get through it. Okay. Got through that part. Okay. So I'm going to pull, pull out the washi. That to the side. There's a bunch more in here. We're 44 rolls in this box. So it's a bit of washi to open. I'm excited to finally see this washi. We got several different things here. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to organize these and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've, I've organized everything and um, I'm ready to show you. So um, these are all the little sticker and journaling type things that came in the package. As, as I said before, um, Simply Gilded is not just a washi tape company. They, they have journaling supplies. So, so uh, some of these are stickers and things related to journaling supplies. But they're, they're nice throw-ins for us, too, even though we're diamond painters, right? So this is a little cute little bow sticker. So cute. And then here's a little card that has, like, these are, like, little uh, symbols on it, uh, sticker symbols that you could peel off and use. Um, all kinds of like little envelope, um, car, transportation type things, food. I guess they would pull that off and use that for um, for being able to journal. And the same thing with this one. It's the same card, just a different uh, different variant of it. So cute. Some little more bow stickers. You could use that on the back of an envelope. It'd be beautiful. Then some little starburst stickers. Cute. And then three journaling cards. Don't ask me what they're for exactly. I know, I think you might write a day, like an event or something on it, and then you put stickers and washi tape and you dress the cards up on this side. I'm thinking that's what they are. <laughs> not not for sure, but I think that's kind of what they are. I really need to learn a little bit about journaling, don't I? Okay, <laughs> anyway, so the first washi tape, which is what we're here to look at, is the um, Sailor Galaxy 14 version package is what I got. It is a four, a set of four washi tape, two 10 millimeter tapes, which are those, th this tape and, and uh, two, no, sorry. Yeah. Two 10 mil. No, it doesn't look like two 10 millimeter. I thought that's what it was. It's one 10 millimeter and three 15 millimeter tapes is what it is. So anyway, so let's go through each one and take a look at it. This is, um, this is constellations is what that's called. That's cute, little constellations on it. And then the next one is the moon one. So it's got bright bright blue and pinks uh, going into pink, kind of like an ombre type effect with uh, gold foil on moons on it. So that's really cute. I get my, get the video right. <laughs> I need to watch what I'm doing is what I'm saying. Okay, so then the third one is the bows. The bows are really cute. That's an ombre pattern. Okay, little well, ombre with the gold foil bows on it. And then this one is called Twilight. It's an ombre variation from pink to medium to dark blue. That's really cute. I like that. Okay, so let's put that to the side. So we got our ombre pattern. Okay, up next we have the Prism Washi's Tape Set. Okay, so it's called Prism. Okay. So this washi tape is a set of four, and I'll just show you on the side. Well, we'll just orient them this way. How about that? Um, a set of four different washies. With, they're in uh, pastel colors of blue, pink, mint, and yellow. 
uh, with white bows. They're iridescent, uh, they call them iridescent prismatic overlay foil, is what they call that. <laughs> and these are, um, these are uh, 10 millimeter washies. Okay, I think that these would go really well with a lot more of the pastel watercolor artwork. Um, like DIY Moonshop Design has. I think this would be really sweet with some of their artwork. Let's put those off to the side. We'll set those up here. Kind of lay them out. Okay, next I have this is a zebra washi set, the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter set. It's a blush color with rose pearl. Now they had some other options too that were black and white, black with gold foil lines on it, and then white with gold foil lines on it. So they have some different variations. I just thought this would be really pretty. I, I really like the blush color with that rose pearl. Very pretty. Okay, up next we have the silver holographic bubble bow washi set is what it says. Okay, it's a set of three washi. We have a, I don't know if you can tell that, it's it's a, it's together, but there's a 15 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a, and a five millimeter here. It's It's got holographic um, bubble bows on it, like metallic dots is what they look like on it. I thought this would be a really nice neutral washi to use when I can't find a washi color that matches the canvas very well, or to add in as an alternating stripe pattern with another washi when sectioning the diamond painting. I thought it'd be nice for that. Okay, next we have, let's just look at these. This is a Thanksgiving fall set. It's a pumpkin paisley bundle of six washies. Great for fall. We'll show these. So you can see, let's look at the first one. There's pumpkins on it and little leaves. Let me rotate it this way. Pumpkins and little leaves on it and little flowers. And then different colors. So you can see that. There's an orangey one. And then here's a green one in the same pattern with gold foil on it. And this is, an, this is kind of a bluish pattern, I think. Cute, cute. This is kind of a purplish color. And then a cranberry or dark cranberry color. And then kind of a, I would say a pinky orange actually is what I would call that. Um, coral, coral. I would call that color coral. And then this is a pinkish purple. Really cute. Cute. I thought that would be so cute on some of these uh, paintings that we do around Thanksgiving time. So I'll stack those up. Get those over here. Okay, next we have, let um, me see, this Soft Galaxy Stardust washi. It's a set of 15 millimeter and 10 millimeter washi. It has the silver holographic um, with the what's called the Aurora, Aurora Pink Foil on it. I just had to get some stardust type washi. It has tiny little stars on it. Um, the color bands go from uh, medium blue to pink to silver at the top. I just thought it was a really pretty washi. Okay, next we have, is this not a gorgeous washi? <laughs> I just thought it was gorgeous. It's a rainbow gingham stardust washi is what the title of the washi is. Gingham pattern with a light gold foil sparkle of stardust at the top. I thought it was just a really sweet washi. Again, a very soft washi, except for the gold, obviously, but um, it's a beautiful washi. I just thought it would be really pretty with a diamond painting. Okay, and then next we have purple. This is purple. Get it oriented right. This is a purple pink stardust washi. It's a two set. It's got a 15 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. Again, it's Aurora pink and it's got this, it's what's called silverly, so if I could say it right, silver sparkly holographic foil in the stardust pattern. I think it's just adorable. I can think of many diamond paintings in my stash that I could use that with, I think. Okay, next. Now we're getting into, I bought a set of, that had eight different sets of washi in it and they're called um, Juicy Ombre bundle 
and it came with five sets of stardust washi was one thing i I just wanted some stardust washi because i didn't have any left in my last set i don't think or i might you know i bought i bought the witchy vibes one um so i had a little bit of, of the stardust washi but i didn't have much so and i really like the stardust pattern and i thought this was pretty it's kind of it's got green to blue to silver Okay, and then we have this one, which is like a, um, what do you call that? It's like a lime color going into a medium green color with the stardust pattern. Again, a 5 and a 15 mil set, or 10 and 15 mil, excuse me. And then this one, which is um, yellow, pink, and purple with the, with the um, stardust pattern. I thought that was beautiful. Then we have this one which is blue to a green to um, kind of a lighter green. Um, I think going into that, maybe maybe even a little yellowish tone, going at the very top with the stardust pattern. And then this washi, which is uh, more of a rainbow, quite a rainbow in there. I think I would call that a rainbow washi with your blues, greens, yellows, the orange to reds with the stardust. Okay, now we're moving into, there was also, there was five sets of Stardust Washi and then three sets of Bose sets of the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter and the ombre pattern. So we got green to a uh, bluish with the holographic bows. Then we have this one, which is um, blue to green to a yellowish with the holographic bows. Again, really cute. Then we have this one, which has, whoops, excuse the camera, which has yellow, uh, pink to kind of a, a pinky, um, kind of a coral, a little bit of a coral tone in there, just very in the middle, and to yellow with the holographic bows. So cute. And then it came with these, I think these are three millimeter um, washi tapes. It came with the set of three millimeter washi tapes. I think when I look at these washies and the color sets that they are, I thought that they would be perfect for like a Hannah Lynn um, or a Mandy Manzano because they're, you know, they got the bright color tones in them. And a lot of those diamond paintings have bright colors in them. And I thought they would, they would go really well with those type of diamond paintings. So I was very excited about that. So I'm going to put these out. I've got, I've got a lot of washi up here. <laughs> like I said, there's 57 of them people. Okay. So now this is the second unboxing. It has nine rolls of washi in it. So let me get it open. And it actually has in it some Christmas washi, um, which I'm excited to see. I want some Christmas washi. Okay, so get into it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, now, in this one, we had some more of those stickers. So we got a bow sticker. I'll just flip that over with the other bow sticker. We got another of those journaling cards with the little things uh, that you use, the little stickers. And then, oh, we got this is cute. We got a sticker, Christmas sticker sheet. I like this. Uh, with the Christmas, the houses, trees, cars. I like the car with the tree on top of it. That's cute. And snowman and, and a little rocking horse. So cute. So cute. I like that. I like that a lot. And a journaling card with a little rabbit on it. <laughs> cute. Okay, guys. Now, uh, the washi itself. So let's look at the washi. Um, this is this is a vintage Christmas plaid bow washi set. It's uh, 15 millimeter and 10 millimeter. It's got the gold foil bows on a background of red and green plaid. I love that. I think that's really cute. Let's look at this one. This one is a, a vintage Christmas plaid stardust washi. Um, again, a set of 15 and 10. It's got the gold and gold holographic glitter foil stars on a background of red and green plaid. I'm in love with this stardust pattern. I really like that stardust pattern. Oh my 
gosh, and that plaid is gorgeous. I have an unboxing to do of one of the Christmas diamond paintings I'm going to do this year. And I think this Stardust washi will go very well with that design. So I'm excited to get that one up and get started on it and put this washi tape on it. That'll be fun. Okay, next we have, this is called, um, the title of this one's called Serene Lotus Love. Um, it's gold foil outlines uh, of a lotus flower. You see that? See the lotus flower and the lily pads? Another name for a lotus flower is a water lily because they bloom on lily pads. Um, I really like the soft green and pink colors of this washi. Again, I think this would go very well with a watercolor type of uh, diamond painting. Okay, next we have, this is a white wood grain, 15 millimeter washi. It's wood grain on white with gold foil grain is what it's called. I just thought it was so interesting. Um, Simply Gilded noted that they think that this would be a great washi to pair with a floral washi pattern. And I think that might be true too. And I, I agree with that. I think it could be a good pairing with that. If you were going to section a diamond painting and you wanted to run different sections with that, I think this would be a good offset for that. Um, where sometimes when you're sectioning things and you're trying to run two different washies, they can kind of look conflicted if you don't have, um, you know, a, a washi pattern that matches it well. Um, and not that you have to be matchy-matchy, but if you want to and you're one of those people, and I, I like to be matchy-matchy, um, you Definitely, this will give you a good option for sometimes when you have a harder choice with the floral patterns you're trying to match with. Okay, now this one. This one is called Christmas Dinner. It's got um, all different kinds of things on it. It's got a, there's a, there's a ham with uh, the pineapples on top of it. Uh, a gravy boat. Who doesn't like a gravy boat? I mean, who doesn't like gravy for Christmas, right? <laughs> And then, uh, then you have a candle, this really cute white candle with the, the holly trim on it. And then you have this uh, cup of, I guess, a Christmas cheer of some sort, maybe something cranberry. It's looks like it's got cranberries on it, maybe. Um, something like that. And that is a, I can't remember what that's called. It's a roll of some type, a Christmas roll f f food, food option. I can't remember what it's called. But it's, it's really cute. I don't know what that is. Mashed potatoes, maybe. I don't know. I can't, I can't see it. Well, you guys can you see that well enough. Does anybody else know what that is? I have no idea what that is. Something in a, some dish. <laughs> have no idea. <laughs> okay. Last but not least from this package, we have uh, what is called, the name of this is called Cranberry Crush Ombre in 15 millimeter and 10 millimeter. It has a mix of cranberry and frost plum with the festive red foil bows is what, it, what they say. Isn't that cute? I thought that's just a beautiful washi. I thought that'd be so pretty. I'm sure I'll find a diamond painting and put that on at some point. Okay, so now we have one more package to open up. So let's open up this package. see what we got in here. Now I only have four in this particular package so it's not that much to open so I'm just going to open it right here and we'll look at it. Give me a second. Okay so dump it out. Let's see what we got. That'll be my receipt or invoice I think. Okay card wise we got some more of these cute foil little cards if you're into those. Cute. More of the stickers that I liked. I'll appreciate that. I'll be able to use those on some envelopes and some gifts, I'm sure. And this is a sweet little card. Look at the little pooch. I love the pink bow. Is that not adorable? So cute. And then a little gold foil sticker. Okay, so in this we have, I'm excited to see this one washi. I'm in love. I am in love. I love. I love this washi. It's called Pink Twinkle Garland. It's pink colored washi. It has twinkle light garland on it. Uh, I think it's adorable. Um, I can see using this washi with some of the watercolorish designs from DIY, DIY Moon Shop. Um, like I could see this washi going perfectly with something like something from the artist Cheriuki. I think it would be so cute with one of those paintings. Gorgeous. Okay, the next one we have 
is this is called, let me get this, wash these little faint, make sure I get it in view. Um, this is called Baby. It's cold outside. It's a 15 millimeter washi. It, ha it features a snowman on it. Uh, if I can find one, there's one, the snowman. And then it's got a fireplace. It's got little um, uh, snowflakes. And I know you can't see that very well, but that's an acorn. And it has snow boots on it and sweaters. <laughs> I think it's perfect. It's perfect washi. I love it. Okay, next. This is the last one we have of our 57. I know, I'm sad too. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Winter Beagle Snow Print. Now, this is this is one washi out of a set. They're selling this off separately. Um, this, the set has beagles on it. Um, this one has a variety of different patterned snowflakes on it. And I thought, on light gold foil, I thought that this would be, would be a really good neutral background because it has a neutral background, I mean. Uh, that would be a very versatile washi that could be used on many different Christmas or winter themed diamond paintings. So I thought it was a really good washi from that. And I really like the, I love the gold foil snowflakes on it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. So I'm just going to pull these to show you how much washi we unbox today. <laughs> I can't organize it like Katie does <laughs> on diamonds with washi. But we we went through 57 different washi. So I'm going to add these into my collection and organize them. I, I'm excited just to organize them, to be honest. And that's really a problem, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> uh, I really like trying to find washi to, to color coordinate with my diamond painting designs, though. It just adds such a new dimension of fun to diamond painting, I think. Uh, I'm really excited to be adding these to my to my collection. Uh, do you do you have any Simply Killer washi tape in your stash yet? Let me know in the comments. And is any of this washi tape just calling your name? If so, let me know that too. Uh, by the way, did any of you guys get in on the Simply Gilded sale they had this weekend? Uh, they said it was their biggest sale of the year. They ran a 30% off site-wide sale on their washi tape, and they had a mystery washi box again with over 60 washi tapes in it. You know, I could not miss out on that fun. <laughs> I had to buy that mystery washi box. I know. So when I receive it, watch for the video come out. I can't wait uh, to see what is in that box, of course. <laughs> Several other YouTubers, uh, YouTube creators got a mystery box, uh, mystery washi box in July. And it was so much fun watching them open up their mystery boxes and look at all that glorious washi tape. I missed out on that one. And ever since then, I had been a bit on a washi tape. Pick. I think I'm getting, I'm going to have to go to uh, SGWTA, Simply Gilded Washi Tape Anonymous. <laughs> if my addiction for their washi tape escalates anymore, <laughs> I can see it now. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I've been addicted to washi tape for the last four months. And everyone says, Hi, Tammy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really bad, isn't it? When you think of it like that, um, heaven help me resist buying any more washi tape than I already have. <laughs> and I still have several more washi tape unboxings to show you. But I have to say, it is so much fun to open and use beautiful washi tape, isn't it? I'm more than obsessed with sectioning my canvas out with gorgeous washi tape. I, I think I might be beyond help. What do you guys think? Am I too far down the rabbit hole to return safely? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to clear this off. Give me a second. And uh, we'll start with the pins next. <laughs> Okay, before we move on to the unboxing of the pens, I told you guys at the beginning of the video to watch out for a giveaway being included in this video. Well, here it is. I want to take a couple of minutes and thank you, all of my subscribers. You know, I launched this channel on October 10th of 2022, and you guys have responded so wonderfully to my videos. Um, I have just loved all the interactions I've gotten to have with you guys. You are awesome. It's been way more rewarding than I could have ever hoped for. And I wanted to announce, um, thanks to your support, that I have reached 500 subscribers now. Actually, I'm over 600 subscribers now. And I can't believe it. The channel has grown so quickly. And it's all because of you guys. So I wanted to celebrate with you and do a little small giveaway to mark the milestone. Actually, I have two giveaways. Now, I mentioned in my Halloween Spooky Stories Whip and Chat video that my husband has recently started doing woodworking and he bought a lathe and I talked him into turning a couple of pins 
for me. Um, these two pins, actually. Um, and in that video, I showed you guys these two pins that he made for me. Um, I have been using them for now for a few weeks. Um, let me get those closer so you can see them. Oh, let's do one at a time. This green one. Okay. Isn't it pretty? And then this purple one. I love both of these pens. I really do. Um, so I've been using them for a couple weeks and I, I'm in love with them. Um, I am loving the turning styles he's coming up with too. And I actually have not bought any pens for myself um, with really intricate turning styles. Um, I have stuck with just buying like the three bump pens uh, generally because they work well for me. But I have to say I'm loving the unique turning styles uh, on these two. In fact, several of you commented saying you would like to buy a pen from him. <laughs> But I replied saying he's not selling pens, at least not yet. Um, it's just for fun right now. But he's toying with the idea of selling some things on Etsy, he says. Like, he's doing some of these really cool custom wood rings he's made. Um, but he doesn't have anything up for sale yet. Um, by the way, I have to say something here totally unrelated to the pens itself. Um, this purple pen, this pen has a magic not a micro glue dot, but a magic glue dot. <laughs> and I think that those glue dots that are in this one are the equivalent of the everlasting gobstopper. If you remember that from the Willy Wonka movie where it was a candy that not never got any smaller, so it went on and on. I have used this pen as my single placer pen uh, for my Halloween dry clean, the, the J Jasmine Beckett Griffith painting that I just finished earlier this month. It's posted on my Instagram feed um, if you want to look at it. And I've used it for about two thirds of another diamond painting pen from Diamond Art Club, that diamond painting, sorry, uh, uh, from Diamond Art Club that I'm doing called I Am Brave that I'm about to complete as well. And I have only loaded this pen with glue dots once. And I've done one and two thirds paintings without changing the glue dots in it or even flipping the glue dots to the other side. That's an incredible amount of diamond painting use for any form of wax for me. I have to say, I love glue dots. If you haven't tried them, I'll put a link in the video description for them. Try them. They are great. It's awesome to diamond paint for a real long time without having to stop and constantly load wax in my pen. So I just wanted to say that to start. And I'm going to move these off for a second. I, ha I have to brag a bit more. <laughs> Here's a few more pins he's made for me since I showed you the last two. Uh, he made this Halloween pen for me uh, that he didn't actually finish until after Halloween was over. So I haven't gotten to use it, but I'll use it next year for Halloween. It's orange, black and white swirls, which is really cool. And the turning style is really different. Um, he um, he made it a bit asymmetric towards the ends, which I like too. Um, I wasn't sure that I would like a pen that didn't taper out on the ends. You know, it's quite wide on the ends that he chose the design like that. But I actually really like the ends chunkier. I was afraid that maybe it would interfere with seeing the tip for drill placement, but it doesn't interfere with it at all, actually. Um, now, the, ne the next pen that he made for me, he made this pen. And this is, I'm, I call this a camo. <laughs> it's a camo pen. Because it's got like camo design on it. You see that camo design? Um, except the camo patterns, purple, gray, lavender, and black. I, I like that pen too. That's a different design. And he had another blank of this purple pen, like this purple pen. He took, a, he had another blank that was very similar to that, but he turned it a different style. Um, and he, he turned it with, where, where this one has the bow tie in the center, what that's called a bow tie, when it bends in like that. This one he did straight in the center. Um, so it's a very different turning style. And I actually like the bow tie in the center better. Um, I haven't liked this one much. <laughs> it's not my favorite pen. For something about that center not going in at all and not having any feel to it, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it as well. I mean, I'll use it. But um, this pen, I really like. I like it a lot better. Now, I like his pen so much that I thought you might, you guys might like one of his custom pens too. <laughs> so I talked him into making two pens for me for my five to 600 subscriber giveaway. So let's show you the first one. Give me a second. I queue it up. Okay. This is the first pen I will be giving away. Um, it is an acrylic pen that was made from an aluminite branded blank. 
uh, which is a specific brand of acrylic blanks that my husband says is a lot easier to turn pins from and allows you to make more intricate turning designs. Uh, and it's way less prone to chipping than any other acrylic blank brands is what he told me. And if you look at it, I know you're probably not getting the colors, but it's actually, it looks like chocolate and white swirl to me is what I think of when I'm seeing this pen. I think it's so different. It kind of reminds me of like hot chocolate with marshmallows melting in it. Um, I thought you guys might like it too. This pen has a slightly asymmetric design. Like right here, you can tell this design on this end is a little different than this design. He's doing that on purpose to give you a different feel on the end. So when you're holding this end, versus this end. It's got a little bit of a different feel. And I actually kind of like that because, you know, sometimes you want to, when you're multi-placing versus single placing, you kind of want to grab it a little different. So it might make you make a choice on which end you want to put your multi-places versus your single placer. Um, so anyway, I, I, I really like the uniqueness um, that, the, uh, that the asymmetric adds to the design. So now, so that's the first pin in the giveaway. Now for the second pin in the giveaway, I picked out this blank. <laughs> I actually bought two of these blanks. Look at that. Look at that. It's and it's not a picture. It's actually there's something down in that blank. To me, it looks like a picture. It looks like a flat picture, but it's not. It's very three dimensional, and you can see that it's real cherry pits um, and red see through aluminite is what it is. Isn't it interesting? I think it's it's going to be a gorgeous pen. Um, I haven't seen anything like it from any of the other custom pen shops. Maybe it's out there. I haven't seen it. Um, now, just for fun, I'm going to insert a quick video clip here showing him sanding and polishing one of these red cherry blanks on his lathe. In case you've never seen how one of these are made before, I thought it might be interesting. So I'll be back in 30 seconds or whatever it is. It's, it's not very long. <laughs> How many more you got to do? A few. A few? 2000, 3005, and 7. You done? That's done. Now, isn't that interesting? I like watching him make the pens. Like I said before, we've been married for 28 years and he's never been an artistic person in general. So this talent he has developed has really surprised me in a very good way. And it's pretty awesome too, being a diamond painter that I am, having a husband that can make make uh, my diamond painting pens now. Ooh, pretty sweet. I might keep him. <laughs> so, so anyway, <laughs> uh, here's the actual pen. Um, that he did from that blank. That's the finish of it. Isn't oh, I'm gonna get that? I'm just not getting the view right. I just do not put things in the center. I don't look at that camera. Okay, but isn't that pretty? I thought it was gorgeous, and I like the way he did. I like the way he finished it too. You know, that was kind of up to him. I told him kind of like just make it kind of bumpy in the center and like bring the ends out like he did my other pinks. I kind of liked it. <laughs> he hasn't made mine though. He's got to make mine from this blank. But this one goes to one of my viewers. So. You got two pins. I'm doing a two pin giveaway. Now, there's going to be two giveaways though. So one pin goes to one person, one pin goes to another person. You can't win both pins. Um, so here's how the giveaway will work. First, um, both pin giveaways are for continental U.S. residents only. Um, I've heard international shipping is just crazy right now. So sorry, I can't offer to pay international shipping at this time. But if you are international and you still want to enter the giveaway, I would be very open to paying the first $15 of the shipping cost if you will pay the balance of the shipping cost. So just keep that in mind whether you want to enter the giveaway or not. If you're, because I have no idea what international shipping is, but we could look at it and see. Um, like I said earlier, a number of you have already entered into the drawing for one of these pens, but you just don't know you did it at the time. <laughs> I know I can be a little sneaky like that. Um, <laughs> in my last video, which, which, which was the Heaven and Earth Design Series Part 1, at the end of the video, I asked everyone 
that made it to the end of the video with me, if they could please comment on the video and put either an angel emoji in their comment or use the word angel in their comment. So by doing that, you were automatically entered into the drawing when you when you put the angel or the angel emoji in. So quite a few of you entered the drawing without even knowing it. So I'm going to insert a video clip here where I used a random comment picker to draw a name and comment from all those comments. And if that person put an angel emoji or used the word uh, angel in their comment, they've won the pen, the first one. And they will get a choice of which of these two pens they would like to have. Um, I was lucky that the first name actually drawn did actually put an angel emoji comment, uh, angel emoji in their comments. So here's the video. Okay, guys, let's do this drawing for the first pen. Now, I have loaded the, um, the, the YouTube address. Uh, for the for the video, um, the first Hayd series part one video, um, where people were asked at the end of the video to put in a comment of angel or an angel emoji. So I'm going to do a random draw, and if we hit on one that is an angel emoji comment, an angel emoji or an angel in text comment, um, that's going to be the person that's going to win the, the the first pen and get a choice of the pen. So okay, I've got everything in. So let's um. Let's get our comments and see how many we have. Okay, there's 48 comments. I'm going to hit start. And the winner is, uh, is Charm Venn. Uh, she says, I'm very interested in your hate conversion method. I'm currently pondering on doing a heaven and earth design conversion of a J wall, but I have been putting it off because of cost and the time it will take me to do it. Can't wait for the rest of the videos to see your method. So congratulations, Charm Ben. You are the first winner of one of these pens. And you have a choice of which of these two pen, beautiful pens that you would like to have. So please contact me via my email address that is in the video description and let me know which one you would like to have. I will then ask you to do something specific that will validate for sure that you are the one that posted the comment. Um, then I'll get your name and address and send you the pen. If you don't contact me by next Sunday, uh, uh, November 20th, I have already drawn two other names as backup winners in case uh, we don't get the person that is uh, Charm Venn does not respond. So now for the giveaway for the other pen, if you would like to enter to win one of these pens, I would like for you to comment on this video by Sunday, 1120, November 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, in your comment, <laughs> in your comment, I want you to include an and symbol. You see this and symbol? Not the word and, the symbol and. Just to be clear, here's an and symbol. Uh, this is what it looks like on the keyboard. It's above the seven key on the keyboard. So include the and symbol. Um, uh, for example, um, in a comment that makes sense, for example, I watched your video and I loved it or something like I love seeing all the Simply Gilded Washi and I checked out uh, Jim's Handmade Pens Shop on Etsy, etc. You get the idea. It has to be the and symbol for the comment picker to pick it up. So typing the letters and will not work. If you do that just by accident in your comment, it isn't going to pick it up. Um, I want you to be a little bit sneaky about it with me. So only those that actually watch this video will know what to do. That's why I'm making it the and symbol. Because a lot of times people see the emojis and they think, oh, I better copy that emoji. And they might have included that in, in there. So I, I don't want people to be able to cheat on this one. It's my, it's my 500, 600 subscriber giveaway. So we're going to make it sneaky. <laughs> um, if. If, if, if I see that you put an and symbol without an actual comment, using it in a way that makes sense, I'm just going to delete your comment. Um, also, if you put a comment that, mean, that mentions the word giveaway or drawing or anything like that that, ins, that insinuates a giveaway is occurring, um, I will also delete your comment. Now, that's not being mean. The reason is because there are automated bots that look for giveaways, and I don't want to attract um, fake subscribers to my channel that aren't real subscribers because those bots could repeatedly put comments in trying to win giveaways. So the goal is that just to make it sneaky enough that they can't figure out what we're doing and they won't you try to attempt to win uh, this this prize. Um, so good luck and I can't I can't wait to read your comments and thanks again for those that have subscribed to my channel. I hope you're loving the content so far. <laughs> 
Now we have some pens to unbox from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop on Etsy. Um, but before I unbox the pens, I thought I want, I have to say that I do find that just the standard three bump pens you buy off Amazon for six to eight dollars is fine for my general needs. Um, like these two pens, these came off Amazon. They're perfectly fine pens. They're beautiful. I use them. Um, they fit my hand well. They don't, exp I don't experience cramps with them. They do the job just perfectly fine for six to eight dollars. Um, and, um, so you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy expensive pens um, at all. It's definitely not a requirement for diamond painting. I will tell you that if you're a diamond painter that is still, if you've been diamond painting for over one diamond painting and you're still using the little yellow, the little pink straws, it's worth the investment to, to bump up to one of these. Because when I use the little pink straw, um, you know, that comes in the kit kind of uh, pens that they give you, I found they just made my hand cramp like crazy. So I'm so glad that I figured out pretty early on that there were diamond painting pens out there because I think I might've quit diamond painting under that scenario if I had to keep using the, the little pink straw pens. Um, they just they just didn't work very well for me. But again, you can get like a really nice, now they didn't come with these tips, obviously. These are, these are high quality tips. Um, but you can get a nice um, uh, diamond painting pen like these for six to eight bucks off Amazon. So don't feel, you know, don't feel like you have to buy what I'm getting ready to show you. Say this, you know, I like a lot of diamond painters. I love custom diamond painting pens too. And I definitely have some very nice custom made diamond painting pens. And I love knowing that by buying custom pens that I'm supporting a small business owner. And they are of course gorgeous to look at. And the unusual turning patterns you can get sometimes can be very interesting from a tactile standpoint. Uh, they can definitely enhance your diamond painting experience. But like many things in diamond painting, though, there's many, many choices of accessories. You just have to decide which ones are best for you and what fits in your particular budget. Now, I mentioned in my welcome to my channel video that I wanted to do a subscriber spotlight segment on my channel where I do a one on one Zoom meeting with a subscriber and I interact with you and you can show me some of your completed diamond paintings and any particular accessories you like to use, et cetera. Just something interactive, like a little interview session. I plan to launch that segment in early 2023 on the channel. So look out for that. Um, in addition to that segment though, um, I would occasionally like to do what I'm calling a vendor spotlight segment um, where, I'll, where I will be highlighting a vendor that sells diamond painting related products. Um, I'll show you some of their products that I have purchased. I will never highlight a vendor that I have not purchased products from um, or really understand their products. Uh, I, I will only try to, to do a vendor spotlight on people that I have really good confidence in. So I'll show you some of their products that I have purchased and used. And I might do a couple of unboxings or something. And I'll give you the pros and cons of how their products have worked for me, uh, what I like and what I think they can improve upon, etc. So I'd like to take this opportunity while I am unboxing five pens from Jim's Handmade Pens on Etsy. Etsy. I'd like to do a vendor spotlight on his products. Uh, I'd like him to be the first vendor that I use for that. So just so you know, I'm not affiliated with the shop in any way. Um, I'm just a customer, just like many of you are customers of Diamond Painting Pen Shops. Um, so I'll be sure to put a link though of his shop uh, in the video description for you. If you just start typing, I will tell you, if you start typing on Etsy and Unless you type Jim's handmade pens, um, I don't think you actually will find him very easily because his name's Jim and pens is very, very common. Um, so it, he's kind of a hard shop to find. So link it from my video if you want to go out and look at his stuff. Um, now, the first thing that you need to know about Jim's handmade shop is that for regular size pens, I think Jim only offers um, three, three different turning styles, two, two bumps, three bumps, and four bumps. He doesn't do the more ex exotic turns. Um, but like I said, I bought, you know, I bought a lot of pens for him and I love my pens and I'm never going to turn away from uh, uh, pens um, like this one. This is a, this is a three bump pen and I love this three bump pen. This is, I use this all the time. You can't even tell. I mean, look at that. You can't even tell I've ever used this pen. This pen's been in my hands for hundreds of hours. Of diamond painting, I guarantee you, because this is one of the most common pens I use. Now, <clears throat> uh, he sells pens that are already turned, so you can actually, you know, see the pen you're going to buy, like this pen was for me. And then he also sells custom turn pens where you see a listing for a pen blank. 
uh, a pen blank like this is a pen blank, like the one I showed you earlier with the cherry pits. This is a pen blank. Now, when you buy off his shop, you'll either see a listing for this, and that means you're buying the pen, or you'll see a listing for this, and that means you're buying a blank. Now, the, once you buy the blank, that's the full cost. And you just note in the description, when you buy the pen, there's an option that says, what turning style do you want? Okay, like I said, he has two, three, and four bump turning styles uh, that you can choose from. I, I, like I said, I particularly like the three bump style. Um, so that's the only style I have purchased from him. I find it's very comfortable uh, for a diamond painting pen. And that's my opinion, though. Everybody has different opinions on pens. Then when you buy his pens, it automatically comes up with a single placer um, on one end, like this single placer. You'll get one of those on one end. And then on the other end, you'll get um, either a force. You, we have a choice on the other end. Let me just give you the choices. On the other end, you'll get a four seven narrow placer like that's a narrow placer or a three six or nine regular placer which that's a regular placer if you can tell the difference now if you've never seen these side by side let me get that up as close as i can get it okay if you've never seen these side by side a lot of people swear by the narrow single placers and they don't like the wide ones so you might consider that if you if you not use multi placers if you're going to buy if you're going to buy a pen or something the multi placer i don't know for sure which i to be honest i don't use this plastic ones anymore i will say uh the wide ones are harder to learn with for sure um some people i i, I would even say at first i wasn't successful with the wide one um i had to start using a narrower one to be successful so i guess there is some levity there that might make you want to purchase the, or get one of these right off the bat. They come free. Uh, you can get one of those or you can get one of these straighteners is what he offers. Okay. The straightener, which you use to straighten your drills with, right? So he has the four or seven narrow placers. And then he has for the single, the regulars, he has them in three, six and nine, I think, which is the width of the drills, right? And then for the straightener, I think he has a three and a six size of straightener um, that you can choose. Okay. Now let me clear that off. Okay, now let's go. Um, I thought because we're highlighting his shop that I would show you all my pens that I have already um, in my stash. I thought that it would be nice for you to see those and, and then we'll open the new ones after that actually um, so that you can get a full breath of what I've put into my stash from him and get in, you know, get to see some of the pens actually, you know, in a video and see the actual pins themselves. Um, so anyway, this one is called, this is the one of the very first pins I purchased from, from him. It is called um, see through acrylic pen with white ribbons and diamond water, whatever that means. I just really like the ribbons, to be honest. I thought the ribbons were so cool. Like I said, it's one of my favorite pins. I use it all the time. Now, I'm gonna show you that pen in conjunction with this pen. I bought this at the same time. I wanted a green one and I wanted a white one. <laughs> uh, so this is a lime green acrylic pen with white ribbons. And it's, it's in the listing, it said it was chartreuse water <laughs> is what, the, what, it, what uh, I guess because you see it looks like water. You're seeing clear through it all the way. They're calling that water. Um, I like to use both of these pens a lot for multi-placing. And they each have a four placer on one end and a six placer on the other end. Oftentimes I keep one with old wax in it and I use it just for placing ABs with since ABs pull out old wax from your tips um, or, or not a, no, ABs pull out, won't pull out. I'm, I'm saying that wrong. ABs won't pull out old wax or they will pull out new wax from your pen. But if your wax is used a bit, and is worn down and is not quite as tacky uh, for AB placement, uh, an old wax works well. So I always just keep one of my, whenever um, I, I'm using my multi-placer, um, if, if I have to put new wax in one of them, that's my new wax pin, and then the other one becomes my old wax pin, then that way I always have a good pin that I can use just for ABs at any given time. So I don't have to use other options if I don't want to. Um, there are other options. This isn't a training session for AB placement, though. Okay, this is one that I purchased. Uh, it was a custom hand-turned pen from a blank. So a blank like this blank, right? So I purchased the blank, 
And the picture of the blank was listed, but until I purchased it, it wasn't turned into the particular style. So I couldn't see it. So I had to imagine looking at the blank, what I thought it might come out looking like and if it was something I would want. So, so you had to kind of take that in mind. Now this is called a hybrid pen because it has wood on one end and acrylic on the other. Um, so it has a, a, it's a wood with a yellow and white acrylic swirl. Okay, so that's one of my pens. Okay, then the next one, this is another custom turned aluminite alum, uh, <laughs> pen from a blank. Um, it has a triple casted brick pattern, which is, which is cut off. In other words, you can see that the brick changes, the brick pattern. You can see a brick pattern going up through there. Um, uh, so, it, so it looks like, it looks like uh, stair steps. I, I like this pen and it's got, um, you'll see that it's got uh, sparkles in it. You see the sparkles? I love the sparkles through it. And see the gold? There's like a gold sparkle maybe going through there. It's really pretty. Um, so it's, um, I, I really like this pen. It's, it's one of my, I'd say it's one of my favorite pens as well. Am I saying they're all my favorite? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. But I like it in the pink and the black. Okay, now this next pen. Um, this is a clear acrylic pen with holographic uh, breast cancer. Let me get that up there. Breast cancer uh, ribbons in it. So it's a pen you would like to use for like October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I did use this for October. Um, but it's a pretty pen. Now it wasn't a custom. It wasn't a custom. I bought it as is. Uh, I could see the listing of the pen just as is. It did not come as a blank. Okay. Now. This pen, another one, this is an acrylic pen with gold, uh, copper gold and orange fall leaves in it. Isn't that pretty? I love that reddish tone in it. This is great for autumn use, you know, when you're uh, in the fall. Uh, fall is especially, I, I don't know, I just love fall for diamond painting for some reason. I love fall diamond paintings. Um, then after I bought this pen, <laughs> I bought this pen. <laughs> I saw this custom hand turned Illuminite pen from a blank. Uh, it has copper and gold leaves uh, in it, and I had to have it because I liked the orangey brown end. I just thought, I don't know, I liked it. I liked the way it was a mix between the two. Um, it's not a wood that is that is actually an acrylic that has been mixed with it, but I just I just think it's gorgeous. <laughs> so to be honest, of these two pens. I have a tendency to turn to this one. This this one doesn't get used very much. This one, this is the one that I like of my fall pens because I just like this orangey brown end. You know, everybody has their weird things, right? <laughs> okay, now now that we've done that, let's 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 open some pens. Um, I'm gonna open this one because this one contains four pens. Well, let's see what we can see here. Get into this box. Box inside of a box inside of a box. Cut across that. Okay. Where's we'll get there? Oh no, no, there's another one. <laughs> it's like one of those those dolls, those Russian folding, those Russian uh, dolls. I can't remember what they're called, but <laughs> the ones that are laced inside each other. It's like, you never get to the center. There better not be another package inside this. What do you guys think? Okay, I think I'm actually at the pins this time. Okay, so that's the way that Jim packages his pins. Um, he puts them in cardboard, in cardboard, that's my invoice. Um, he puts them in between cardboard. And I've not had a problem with the receipt of any pen that was broken as a result of shipping. Now, here we go. And I like that he puts them in these little, um, these little, uh, I don't know, they're like felt-like containers. Um, I like that. Um, they're just nice. You keep your pens nice. So let's open this first. Well, let's not open. Let's save the pink one. We don't know what that is. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe that's the most special one. I don't know. Okay, let's break into one of these pens. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, what do you think? I need. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. 
This plank has orange and cream and sparkle in a giraffe pattern. Oh my gosh, this is prettier than the blank. I love it. I love that. Beautiful. Okay. Let's 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 open it. Well, let's let's save the pink one for last. It's gotta be special, right? <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna open is this one. Okay. That is that. Uh, Looky what we got here. <laughs> this is another custom turn to loom light uh, pen from a blank. The blank is called Joker Gator. It's purple and green in a giraffe like pattern. Now, you may not be picking this up well because the lighting may not be perfect for this, but that, that purple is very swirly underneath that. And the green is too. But the purple is really attractive in that. Well, the way the, the way the light's coming off that when I'm looking at this, it's a really pretty pen. I was in the giraffe giraffe look, obviously, when I was purchasing these pens. So I'll lay that pen out there just so we can see both and, and that one. Okay, so let's look at the next one. <laughs> I've never gotten this many pens. Well, I don't even know if I've ever gotten I've ever gotten to it. Yeah, I, I bought three at once. Yeah, one time I did, I bought three. Um, but um, Definitely, this is this is the biggest haul of pens for me. Oh, look at this. He was having a the reason I purchased these pens. This is another custom one too. Um, he was having a special, and he had some pens on clearance that were really low dollar. And I thought, well, I'll buy in on that. I'll give up the pens some tries, try some different ones. So this is um green. Uh, the the blank is green with a, a bluish. Blue, different colors are blue with a honeycomb style pattern in it. So that's different. I don't have anything. I don't have anything like that in my stash. Okay. Let's open the last one. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. I don't know. What do you think it is? Look at this one. Oh, look. Another ribbon pen. Huh. It's like uh, ribbons with, uh, with, polka dots in them like well cutouts like polka dot cutouts in them so it's rose pink white and black swirl that's a different pen i don't have any i don't have many pens in the pink i, I thought it, i you know i think pink with black and white is a real dressy look <laughs> you know in in people <laughs> i think it's a very classy look so um i was attracted to this pen because i thought it was a classy looking pen just different i like it okay so we have these four pens now we have the last unboxing now this this is the last unboxing now this is the one pen i mentioned earlier that i'm really excited about finally opening um so let me give you some background on this particular pen before we actually open the package um i was reading some of jim's customer review reviews on etsy um, one day, and he has, you know, he has such great reviews. He has lots of customers that love his pens just like I do, and they come back over and over to buy them like, like I do. Um, every review on Etsy shows a picture, if you're, if not, if you're not familiar with Etsy, every review on Etsy shows a picture of what you purchased, um, or the blank, like, uh, these blanks, like, it'll show the blank that you purchased, um, if it was a custom pen. And the, and the customer can add a picture of the pen they actually received after it was turned if they want to. And I saw this one customer review that had the most beautifully turned pen I have ever seen. The customer had added a picture of what it looked like turned. And even though the blank was listed in the review, I, I could not get over how cool it looked when it was actually turned down to the pen shape. I just didn't envision it looking that pretty from that starting blank, but it was. Um, it, it, had a, it was a flower pen in varying shades of pink that were opened up, the flowers were opened up, and when turned, created the most interesting patterns in the bloom. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, he didn't have it in stock at the time, though, so I contacted him and let him know that I was really interested in that pen. He said he was going, he was planning to restock the blank. So when the blank was restocked, I had to buy it, of course. Now, let's open it up and take a look. I haven't been so excited to see this pen. Okay, digging. Oh, package inside of a package again. Oh, we don't have the Russian stacking dolls too far in. <laughs> I have some. This is only going to be one. 
even though it's great that he packs his packages good. I mean, I can't complain. Oh my gosh, it's another good feature of Jim's Jim's handmade pens is he packs his, he packs his pens good. Okay, so this is one pen in the packaging. Now, this pen, can't wait to see it. I hope it's as beautiful as that one girl's was because I loved that pen. Whoops, I tore off the, it's stuck in there a little bit. Give me a second, I gotta work, do some work here. And back in. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, love it. The blooms opened up and the way that they're crisscrossing. That's what I loved. I love the way that the blooms were opened up in it. I just thought it was so cool. This blank is not disappointing me at all. Love that pen. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. I'm going to have to send Jim a note on that one. That one deserves a note. It's beautiful. I love it. Now, <laughs> um, love these pens. Um, now, I wanted to let you know that my I wanted to let you know my thoughts on on Jim's handmade pens as a seller on Etsy, and you know beyond just opening pens. I want to give you you know some thoughts. Uh, Jim is a super nice guy. He's very responsive to any questions you might have. In fact, I have a story to tell you about him that shows you just how good his customer service is. I bought another one of these bloom pens from him in June uh, that was so pretty. It was it was my first bloom pen that I had, was ever going to buy. Um, I had just been, uh, had my eye on it. I really, I really liked it. Um, it had dried off white and pink flower blooms on both ends and the pine cones were in the middle of the pen. And when I got it, I loved the pen. But I noticed that it had a very small exposed crack in it where it had been turned down and the flyer materials in the pen were slightly exposed to their acrylic. Bloom pens are really beautiful pens, but it is known, it's a known fact that they are more prone to breaking easily if you drop them due to the nature of the materials in them. Um, so I'll have to be really careful with this pen, especially if it has a, like a pine cone in it. Those can break really easily because you basically what you have is you have material just stacked up deep in that pen. And all that you have really supporting it, a lot of times is this acrylic outer layer. I mean, of course it's got some acrylic in it and it's, it's supposed to be stabilized, but you got to keep in mind, you're packing a lot of material in that pen and it makes it more subject to the possibility to have problems. Um, so anyway, so I saw it had, you know, I had a small crack in it. So I used the pen over that weekend. I noticed that the crack unfortunately started to expand a little bit and it opened up a bit. So um, I contacted Jim about it to see what I could be done. I mean, I love the pen. I sent him pictures of the crack. You know, I was wanting to see if there was anything could be, maybe it could be repaired. But before I, before he even replied to my message, he had immediately refunded me for that pen because of that little crack. Um, I thanked him for the refund, but told him that I was willing to work with him if he thought he could fix the pen at all. And his response to me was, keep the pen. He said, I have to sleep at night. <laughs> so, you know, in other words, his conscience was really strong and he wanted to do the right thing. He didn't think the pen came out quite right based off of the picture that I showed him. And so I think that that, you know, uh, even though I had a small problem with the pen, I bought a lot of pens for him. It's the only time I've had a problem. And these pens are more subject to have problems. So it, you know, it's not overly surprising that I could have a small issue with it. So that was great customer service from him that he didn't make me ship that pen back or anything. Um, and he just refunded me the money. So from my experience, um, he is very easy to do business with. Um, so over, I, so continuing my story though. So over the next week or so, after he refunded me the money of that pen, um, I started thinking more about that pen. <laughs> it was a beautiful pen. I couldn't bring myself to just throw it away. <laughs> I just had I was just wondering if that pen could be fixed. So I thought, why not try something? I just to see what's, you know, you know, try something to see if I could save that pen. So I put some super glue in the crack and pressed really hard on it and held it tight for a few minutes. And I got really lucky. And this is the actual pen. I got really lucky and didn't get any super glue on the outside of it at all. And it seemed to be holding really well. So I used the pen a lot over the next couple of weeks and pushed hard on it and it seemed to be holding fine. 
So you can see the pen. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, what the problem was, was that these flowers were so deep and packed in that it, it compromised the pen a little bit and it needs some more reinforcing. So me putting that super glue in it apparently fixed it. I mean, I don't even, it, it's fine. I don't have any problems with this pen at all. It's actually one of my favorite pens in my stash. It's an aluminite pen. You can't even tell, you know, where I glued it. It's perfect. Um, so see the dried flowers on the ends and the gorgeous pen, the pine cone in the center. Um, I love this pen. <laughs> so after I fixed the pen, I, I was feeling really guilty that Jim refunded me for that pen and I was actually able to use it, you know, fix it and use it. I thought that's kind of low, isn't it? So, so I contacted Jim and told him I was able to fix the pen like new and I wanted to pay him for it. You know, he said, no, that's okay. Keep the pen. He said he would not accept payment for it. So again, great customer service, right? But now, you know, I, he was such a great guy. Now I had this pen. Now I'm feeling gu really guilty. I didn't know if I could enjoy the pen, knowing that I was able to fix it. And he was out the cost of the materials and his time for making it. I just didn't think I could enjoy it after that. I felt like I kind of took it from him. So I needed to do something to try to take away that guilt or I just wasn't going to be able to enjoy the pen. So I contacted him again and I said, can I just pay you half for it then so I can just use the pen without guilt? <laughs> and I know I've covered your material costs. He agreed to accept half, although I, I know he did it very reluctantly. So the point of the story is that Jim is just a great, really great guy and he will do things to make things right if there are any issues. So I cannot even put a reserve on anything I, the, of his shop. He has great quality products and he's a great guy and he will make anything right. If you get a pen and you don't, you know, something's wrong with it or um, you didn't interpret something right, call him, contact him. He responds very quickly. Um, he will do right by you. So here's all of my, whoops, forgot one. I leave that one. So this is my entire uh, Jim's handmade pen shop pens. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have thirteen pence from him now, <laughs> but I love them. <laughs> I, I think they're beautiful pence. I also um, I wanted to let you know that right now, at the time I'm recording this video, um, I went out to a shop and checked out a shop again. He has over eight hundred pence on sale right now at fifteen percent off. He has some really beautiful blanks. He has bloom. Pins, feather pins, glitter pins, hybrid pins, wood pins, and mini pins. He even has a short egg-shaped pin that is supposed to be really good for people with arthritis because they're easier to grip your hand around and hold. Um, so I just want to do, like I said, this is a vendor spotlight. And in my vendor spotlights, excuse me, my vendor spotlights, I'm going to overview some purchases from a vendor, maybe do some unboxings, like I said. And I'm going to give you a synopsis of my experience of working with those products. And his products are great. The only bad, ex and I won't even say bad experience, the only experience I had that wasn't just absolutely perfect was this one. And I just had a small crack in it, and we fixed it, and he gave me my money back, and he finally accepted half back. So, I, I can't be more pleased and I love the product now and I don't have any guilt for keeping it because we, we came to a good compromise. So I'm, I'm very appreciative and Jim, I hope you get to see this video because I want to thank you again. If you're watching this at any point, if you happen to see this video, I love your pants. <laughs> okay. Now, well, we certainly had some fun today unboxing these five packages of pens and washing tape, haven't we? <laughs> but it's it's time to bring the video to a close. I know I'm I'm sad too, guys. Um, if you could please drop me a comment on this video, just to say hi or just to let me know what you thought of today's video, I would certainly appreciate it. And as always, feel free to leave me a comment, tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. I really enjoy reading your comments, and I read all your comments. And I reply to all your comments. I will, at, at a minimum, give you a heart and a like. And I usually say something. Um, well, I say 99% of the time I say something back to you in response to your comments. So please keep the comments coming. I, I really enjoy them. Also, I think it's safe to say, guys, if you've made it this far in the video, you're probably my kind of people. And now that you're part of my clan, <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. Before you go, if you could please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I would be thrilled to have you as one of my subscribers. And if you're feeling really froggy, hit that notification bell to be notified when I put up a new video. 
So thanks for dropping by and spending some time with me today. Have a great rest of your day, whatever the day is, wherever you are. And always keep diamond painting between the lines. Bye, y'all.